Hello everyone. I'm Swati Sharma from Department of Management Studies. Uh, today's topic for discussion is uh, regional imbalance. What is regional imbalances? Uh, basically, uh, it's a differences or we can say that disparity and which means wide differences in per capita income, literacy rate, health and education services, level of industrialization, etc. between different regions. And regions may be either states or regions within the state. In India, we can see that there is enormous diversity or imbalances or disparity um, in, uh, is there in various accounts. Now uh, we discuss about the indicators of regional disparity. The first and the foremost point is state per capita income as an indicator of uh, regional imbalance. It is the most important indicator of regional imbalance and disparity among the different states of India is uh, the differences in per capita state income figure. Then uh, interstate, uh, second point is interstate disparities in agricultural and industrial development. So uh, in this point, basically this, um, uh, uh, this is another important indicator of regional disparity. It is the differences in the level of agriculture and industrial development between the different states <clears throat> of the country. Like in India, uh, states like Punjab, Haryana and part of Uttar Pradesh are recorded a high rate of agricultural productivity due to its high proportion of uh, irrigated areas and higher level of fertilizer use. But in other states, uh, like in um, Northeast area, or we can say that uh, in um, um, extreme north or uh, like Ladakh areas, we can't see that much agricultural land uh, there. Then population below poverty line. Uh, percentage of population living below the poverty line in different states is uh, another important factor or indicator of regional uh, disparity. Like population living below the poverty line in whole country is 26% in, uh, in the year 2000. And there were about 12 states whose percentage of population living below the poverty line have exceeded this all India average. Like Bihar, Orissa, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh are the four states which have the highest percentage of population below the poverty line, as well as uh, they have the lowest per capita income in the country. Then um, uh, spatial distribution of industries. Another important indicator is spatial um, uh, distribution or regional imbalance uh, basically is the uneven pattern of distribution of industries. From independent states like Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Punjab, Haryana, Gurjat have achieved a considerable uh, development in its industrial sector. But West Bengal could not keep pace in its uh, industrial growth as much as other industrial uh, developed states. So in this way, disparities in industrial growth between different states have been reduced to some extent. And one more thing uh, this um, that is to be noticed is that the country as a whole has achieved industrial development at a fair rate since independence. But the spatial distribution of such industry development between uh, the different states remain almost like uneven. Then degree of urbanization. Uh, disparities in the degree of urbanization are another important indicator of regional imbalance. In respect of urbanization, the percentage of uh, urban population to total population is an important indicator. So the states which are maintaining higher percentage of urban population than the national average include the Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat and then followed by Karnataka, Punjab and Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal. Then uh, per capita consumption of electricity. Uh, it is also another important indicator. States like Punjab, Haryana, Gujarat, Maharashtra, etc. having higher degree of industrialization and mechanism, uh, mechanism, mechanism of agriculture, which is having recorded a higher per capita consumption electricity than the economically backward areas of Bihar, Orissa, and some areas of Uttar Pradesh. Then uh, employment pattern. Employment pattern of worker is also an important indicator of regional disparities. States attaining higher degree of industrialization are maintaining higher uh, proportion of industrial workers to total population. So average daily uh, uh, employment of factory workers per lack of population is um, like very, very, very less. <clears throat> 
then intrastate imbalance it is uh, another important indicator uh, it shows that um, how in intrastate level there is uh, uh, so much of diversity so there is a growing tendency among most of the advanced states to concentrate its developmental activities towards relatively more developed urban and metropolitan areas of the states while allocating its industrial and infrastructural projects so these are some of the indicators of uh, regional disparity next is <clears throat> what are the causes of regional imbalance in india there are few causes uh, of regional imbalance in india first is historical factor if we see historically regional imbalance in india started from the Brit british time the british era and the british ruler as well as the industrialists started to develop only those earmarked regions of the country which as per their own interest were possessing rich potential and prosperous manufacturing and trading activities so um the uneven pattern of investment in industry as well as economic overheads like transport communication facilities irrigation power made by the british has resulted uneven growth of some areas uh, which are totally neglected on their part then geographical factors uh, geographical factors uh, means uh, it is difficult terrain uh, surrounded by hills rivers and dense forests leads to increase in the cost of administration cost of developmental projects beside making mobilization of resources particularly difficult so most of the himalayan states of india that is himachal pradesh northern kashmir and the hills of like some areas of bihar and arunachal pradesh even more, more, remains mostly backward due to its inaccessibility and other inherent difficulties then inadequacy of economy overheads economic overheads like transport communication banking insurance technology are considered to be very important uh, factors or important points uh, due to the for the industrial development and for uh, the overall develop, development so due to adequacy of such economic overheads some regions are getting a special favor in respect of settlement of some developmental projects whereas due to inadequacy of such uh, economic overhead some of the regions like eastern region or the bihar region backward region are uh, as compared to other developed regions of the country are neglected then uh, failure of planning mechanism although balanced growth has been accepted as one of the major objectives of economic planning in india since uh, the second plan onwards but it did not make much head away in achieving this object rather in real sense planning mechanism has enlarged the disparity between the developed states and the less developed states of the country then a uh, lack of uh, uh, growth of industries in uh, backward areas so uh, the government of india has been following a decentralized approach for the development of backward regions through its investment programs on public sector industrial enterprises located in backward areas like raukela and bilai and other areas <coughs> but due to lack of growth of ancillary industries in these areas so all these remains backward in spite of huge investment then lack of motivation on the part of backward states uh growing regional imbalance in india has also been resulted from lack of motivation on the part of the backward states for industrial development while the developed states like maharashtra punjab haryana gujarat tamil nadu etc are trying to attain further industrial development but the backward states have been showing their interest on political intrigues and uh, manipulations instead of industrial development last but not the least political instability this is another important factor um, basically uh, the political instability prevailing in the backward region of the country and uh, the political instability in the form of unstable government extremist violence law and uh, order problem etc have been obstructing the flow of investments into these backward regions beside making flight of uh, capital from these uh, backward states so these are some of the causes of uh, regional imbalance in india third uh, next we can see how uh, the government or how we can remove the regional disparity in india first is resource transfer and backwardness 
while making ne uh, necessary award the finance commission india has been giving due weightage to backwardness of uh, state as an important criteria for resource transfer from the center to the states so under the present system of federal fiscal transfer the transfer of resources from the center to states includes central assistance for state plans the non plan transfer as per the recommendations of the finance commission ad hoc transfer and others also then uh, special area development programs so uh, in order to develop hilly areas tribal areas drought prone areas specific plan schemes have been designed with full uh, central assistance besides other schemes of rural development formulated for the improvement of specific groups such as the marginal farmers and the agricultural laborers were implemented in the backward regions an area based approach of tribal sub plan is now being implemented um uh, for the development of sch uh, scheduled tribes located in the backward rural areas last but not the least incentives for promoting uh, investment in backward regions in order to fight the problem of industrial backwardness of uh, some backward regions and also to promote the private investment in backward region various fiscal and other incentives have been provided like central government scheme the income tax concession tax holidays central investment subsidy schemes and many more so uh, if we follow these points or these um, uh, uh, basically the areas we can um, remove regional disparity in india and it will uh, obviously help uh, in removing or in uh, decreasing uh, uh, the regional disparity in india so uh, this is all about this uh, topic so uh, thank you